activist investing has been on the rise lately, but big name investor Nelson Peltz failed to gain traction when he took on the board of chemicals giant DuPont. Peltz's try-in fund management gained the support of two proxy advisory firms as he tried to secure a spot on DuPont's board along with three other dissident candidates. The deal's Ron Oral suggested that Peltz lost his proxy fight because other investors believed DuPont CEO Ellen Coleman is already pursuing shareholder-friendly moves such as stock buybacks and spinoffs. DuPont's investor base includes major institutional investors that tend to do their own research beyond looking at recommendations from proxy advisory firms. And sources said that those investors are becoming more thoughtful and independent in their proxy voting. Sources told Oral that large firms including BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street all voted with DuPont, while event-driven hedge funds tended to stand by the company as well. Investors found that some of Pelt's suggestions, such as a plan to split DuPont into two businesses, went too far, especially since that would have had a negative impact on the company's debt credit rating. Ann Simpson, an executive at the California Public Employees Retirement System, publicly criticized Peltz's thesis as being relatively short-term. DuPont's stock has performed positively over the last 12 months. It's up more than 6% over that time period. The rise of activism gives investors a lot to think about, and big firms are proving ready to push back against insurgents. I'm Lisa Allen, and that's The Deal Report.